What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. New drift car here in R Factor 2. Godzilla is here. What more is there to say? Let's get sideways. So before we get started with this episode here, taking a look at the new drift car here in R-Factor 2, I want to make a big thank you to RSTR Mods for hooking me up with this car here for R-Factor 2. Definitely, um, it's been some amazing cars and stuff like that coming out of his workshop. So, I say Godzilla's here, that is because we have the R-34 here in R-Factor 2. We're going to go back to Drift Projects. R34. We have a couple of variations of it with liveries and stuff like that. So we're going to take a look at it and see what we can actually do to the car. So I'm super excited to have this car here in the game. Another drift car here for our factor 2. So we're going to take a peek and it looks like we got a bunch of different options we can do. Front wheels, rear wheels, rear wing, neons. So that Goodyear livery looking pretty uh looking pretty sweet actually. Looks pretty cool. Do like it. Um, I'm noticing the uh, model looks pretty good. Looks pretty crisp, crisp and clear. So what do we got for steering lock? It looks like we can do a normal steering lock, or we can do a wise fab kit with 60 degrees of max steering. You know we're gonna throw the wise fab in. So I'm intrigued by this. There's a lot of wheels in here. Apparently you can change a lot of wheels. So we got the Rota P45Rs in gray and in black. Ooh, some nice end keys. Some works. Got a bunch of those in my uh, side of Corsa car. Some BRs. Ooh, those are nice. Ooh, some gold Advans. Some weed sports. Definitely rocking those a lot in my Forza cars for sure. Some weeds wheels, some Nismo wheels, and some BBSs. So the fact that we can have. Can we do. We can. We can do different types of wheels front and rear. That's sick. So that's pretty cool to be able to see that and to do different types of wheels front and rear. I think we're going to rock some weed sports in though. Although I do like those. So I think we're going to run those right now. So that's cool that we can change it around, change some stuff in there. It looks like we got rear wings. Oh, we got a camera back there. That's pretty cool. We got to zoom out a little bit. So we got a camera back there. So rear wings. What do we got? Oh, we got a bunch of different wings. All right. We got the traditional race wing. All right. All right. We got the curved race wing. We got the low rise wing. All right, that's sweet. Oh, we got the big Wang Gang wing. The even bigger wing. And then nothing. I think we're just going to go with the really big wing just because. Neons? Is that a thing? Oh, my lord. That is bright. So apparently neons are a thing with this car. I think it's because the floor is so reflective. They're really bright. We're going to leave them on just to see what they look like. So I think we're going to take the car so out like this. It's actually in R Factor 2. I think you can get it off race department. But wow, look at that FPS. 1,000 FPS right now. It's because we're not doing anything. So we're going to go to Mayhan. I don't think we have anybody set up. Nope, 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 just us. Why is my screen twitching out? So we're going to go race here at Mayhan. I say race, but we're going to get sideways in the skyline. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. Make sure you tap that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. I would appreciate the support. Hit that bell notification if you want to be part of the notification gang. So, loading in. So, it looks pretty cool from the looks of it in the beginning. Oh, that's loud. He's telling me to go forward, but I know there's a wall in front of me. So let's take a look at. Ooh. Those are some bright lights. So we do have a couple different views. I don't know if the underbodies are on or if I didn't turn them on. I don't know. I'm unsure. But we're going to go back into cockpit view and we're going to back this up a little bit. A little bit further back of a view up. Oh, that's too far. All right. There we go. So, Project Cars 2, R34, drift car. We're going to see how this works off the bat without tuning it. We have 
get out of the pits without. Oh, I said get out of the pits without hitting the tires. Such a small area. Oh my, this car sounds amazing. Alright, let's do it. First throw. checks for first throw out there oh they're, they're running that this is insane kick it in third here we go oh um and we stalled it yep yep we killed the car we got a little bit too much send on that one. Let's take a look at that too much send for the first part of this. There we go. So we're gonna get a couple more laps in here, but I want to see what it looks like on the outside view. The neons are on. So at first look, it looks pretty cool. I do see the neons. We're doing a little bit of dirt drop in there, but R Factor 2 is definitely a hard game to drift in. And this car, uh, first lap out, handles pretty well. I've never, haven't really driven this car at all until just now. I took it on a lap, didn't really drift it or anything like that. That was a solid transition. And too much sauce. Get a little bit too wide and oh, oh. There went my wing. Wing said, see ya, goodbye. All right, so let's try that again. We're going to restart the weekend so we don't have that penalty because I don't know why we had a penalty to begin with. Start of the weekend so we don't have any pits. We're going to try exiting pit a different way. I know there's another entrance onto the track. Oh. <clears throat> Could have stalled that. There we go. Well, we got a little uh, open area. Let's do a little. See if we can do some donuts. The speed limit's 50 in pits, but uh, nowhere near that. So I don't see a light. I hope pits are green to exit now. Yeah, we're good. All right, let's try not to do grass drops or dirt drops here. This time around, let's break the transition. There we go. So we do have the head look forward action on here in Project Cars. Project Cars 2, R Factor 2. Project Cars 2 was the first game that ever had that for me. The look forward, where it looked to Apex, so that's why I equivalated to that. But it is definitely very cool here. Oh, there we go. All right, let's try to get the entry. Yo. So for first take out of this car, I'm uh, I'm liking it. Kind of transitions well under braking too. Don't really need handbrake. Sounds good. Looks good. Oh, once again a big thank you for the creator for hooking me up with this mod. Turbo. I feel like we could maybe get some more power into this car, maybe. We'll like take a look and see what type of tuning settings we do. We're gonna run this out here. Oh, I tried to get a little bit uh saucy with my entry to that section. So let's go back to pits. See what all we can do maybe in the garage settings. What can we do? General boost mapping. Oh, we have more boost. We can do a lot. We can do more boost. We can do chassis. We can adjust caster. Eight degrees of caster. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of caster. All right, all right. So we're just gonna increase the boost. Let's see what it does with a bigger boost. Definitely a noticeable difference with more boost.
Oh, much noticeable difference with more boost. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, that was a perfect entry. Hold that. Kind of angle stalled it out, but we good. Oh man, this is fun. This car on a bigger track. I feel like this car would be massive amounts of fun. We may have to come revisit this on some bigger tracks. So let's try it in third person view with that really big wing and see what it looks like. I don't know if I can drift in third person. On our vector two. I like it. Definitely a very big car looking from back here. So we're gonna head back into first person. Let's take a look at the third of that run because that was uh, that was a pretty good set of runs, if I have to say so myself. So we came back in the pits, I believe. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, there it is. This is when we increased the boost. Got more boost in the car. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, which you found in the description box below. A little jump in there. No big deal. So the car handles way better with more boost. It handles really incredibly here on our factor too. The game is meant for racing and stuff like that. It's great to see new drift cars coming out here, like the Supra and stuff like that in the game. And this is just another car, this R34 Godzilla drift car. Definitely an amazing car to add to my collection of cars here in the game. And like I said, R Factor 2, if you guys watched the first video with the Supra, it's more of a realistic sim game for racing, so the grip levels in the game are incredible. So being able to drift, that was a perfect entry. Being able to drift in this game and have a car that handles this well and drifting is incredible to me, and it's awesome. Can't thank you know, the creator enough for bringing this car into the game. Have a lot of fun driving this car. So if you guys like this and you keep wanting to see R Factor 2 drifting, let me know down in the comments. Maybe I can get some other cars from him to throw down here on R Factor 2. Maybe we can get a uh, server going and maybe do some R Factor 2 drifting. I mean, that would be definitely different and not something that everybody does. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I will see you guys on the track. Scraping my wing on that wall, that entry though. Oh, I like this car. We're gonna do more of this.